video, we're going to be setting up NGRX Entity in our project. Like right here, we have this store, and the store is like a in-memory database. And we could do CRUD functionality with it, like create, read, update, and delete. And NGRX Entity gives us a bunch of boilerplate methods and code that will help us do that. And that's what we'll set up in this video. If we go back to the documentation, and like usual, I'll have this link down in the description. And down here, NGRX Entity, we want to install this library before we get started. So click on installation. And if you're following along from the GitHub project that you got off GitHub, that's Angular 8. So this should be fine, this last one. So just copy this. And we'll install this at the root of our project. Now that we have that installed, let's go into our index file. So inside the products store and then the index, and we're going to make like several basic changes to this file. Now this video, we're going to just implement it into an existing project entity. But in the next video, we're going to go and delete this entire store and start off from scratch and use the command line because the command line gives you a bunch of boiler boilerplate code. I want to show you and we'll do that in the next video. So to implement it into our existing index file, we'll start off with the interface. And we'll just copy and paste right out of the documentation because they have really good documentation on this. If we go to entity interface, and here's the entity state. And this is a predefined interface that's already given to us when we download the NGRX entity. And it looks like this, it has two properties, the IDs and the entities. And this is how we're gonna store our products and then this is how we implement it so in our case it's called product state that's the interface we were just looking at and we need to extend it using the entity state that entity gives us so just copy this piece here and then right here we can add additional properties and in our case we're going to add an error property uh, so let's do that as well if we go back to here and we'll just extend our product state now and then uh, change this over to product so it's going to be a list of products in here. So products, and then let's pull this in the interface. And this won't uh, give me the option to pull it in. So I'll just copy and paste it. So let's paste everything we're going to need from NGRX entity. So paste. So here's the en entity state interface. And now we want to set this up. We want to get rid of the products. We don't need that anymore. And like it says in the documentation, we can include more properties and we'll include the error. Now that we set up our interface, we're ready to set up our adapter. So this is basically like step two we need to do, and we'll put that right here. Again, we'll do another copy and paste from the documentation, and they show you how to set up your adapter. So copy this, and this adapter is very useful. You'll find yourself using this a lot. This gives you a whole list of different methods you could use, and I'll show you that actually right now. If we go back here and just paste it here, change around the values to product, Okay, and then now this, let's check this out real quick. So the adapter has a whole list of different methods. Like you can do all kinds of CRUD functionality with your store. You can use these selectors to get things from your store and we'll, we'll actually use that pretty soon. But here we could also use this, the get initial state. This is for setting up our initial state and then we'll do that right now. They show us in the documentation on how to do that, but I'll just uh, go ahead and do it. Like we could get rid of this now because this doesn't, exist like this anymore we can get rid of that get rid of that error and then actually get rid of this whole thing we'll we'll just uh, change this whole thing around so this is going to be equal to the adapter and that this adapter you'll use this a lot you'll notice later on but um here we could set up our initial state like you could leave it empty like that if you didn't have this property in there but we want to include to include that so to do that you just add it in here and we want to define our error now so error and it's going to be undefined so now we set up our initial state we still pass it in and now here we're getting an error and this is isn't going to be much different actually we're still returning something but now we're going to be using our adapter so we could just change this around just remove this part here and now we're using our adapter and we're going to use one of our many different methods and it's going to be add all so and what are we adding it's going to be our products and then the second param you want to pass in your state and that's pretty much it for that and then here um it all we need to do is just get rid of this that's all we need to do there all right so that's like step four we set up our reducers 
Now let's set up our selectors. This, I'm gonna add a, a second selector. So I'm gonna copy this and it's gonna be for getting our air. We're not gonna actually use this selector in this video, but I just wanna have it just in case. So I'll just rename this to air, select air. And that's for getting this air out of our, our store. And I'll just change this to air. And now here in our select products, we could get rid of this and use our adapter again. And then in the next video, we're going to do a little different than the way I'm doing it here. But for this video, I'll use the uh, guest selector like this. But you could assign this to a variable and use it in a different way. And we'll do that in the next video. So uh, make sure we close it up correctly and then select all like that. And we just set up our selectors. Let's test it, make sure everything is working. So I'm going to restart the application. So I open up the command line and I have it open right here. I'll just shut it down. And make sure if you're following along with the GitHub project, make sure you run NPM run dev. So here in our project, if we uh, click on view all products, you'll see a slight difference in your store. And now what you got is that interface, the IDs. And here are a whole list of our products. And now you successfully set up entity within your project. So now in the next video, what we're going to do is tear all this down and rebuild it using the command line. So I'll see you then.